In this drill, I don't want you to hit the ball. I want you to set up as if you were going to hit the ball, but don't hit it. You ready? Okay, okay and I'm just going to tap it to you. It's going to look like this. I'm going to tap it to you. You're going to just set up. That wasn't a good tap. I'm just going to set up like I was going to hit it and not hit it. All right, ready? Okay, there it is. I just set up. All right, see? Okay, and what do you think? How was that? Was that, did you set up, uh, would you like to have it set up a little better, do you think? A little bit. Do you think you were too close to it? Right, you felt like you were getting jammed. And by the way, this is what happens to most players at the beginning. You end up jamming yourself because you want to keep the ball close. You end up in there like this because you just want to get it back to the front wall. And as we're going to see later, as we continue through a progression, when you get up at the top levels of racquetball, the best players in the world get too close to the ball. But I digress. Okay, so let's just do this. Set up. Now that was a little better, but feel yourself leaning over the ball. You're what we call hovering. That's a hover. You're hovering, so stay away, all right? Try to stay away from the ball. Fight it and stay away, all right? That's a little better, but you're still sneaking right up on that ball. You're moving in a straight line to it. Let me show you what it looks like. You're coming right over like this, Mike, and getting on top of it. Instead, Fight the tendency to come up on it and stay away from it. Let's try it. Right there, bud. That's a little better. 